the class I was in south of France and uh, and there there are this little uh, animal this uh, seagull I think in, in English it's sig si sigalas which are like a little like grasshoppers and uh, they make so much noise and all you hear there are them like you hear them everywhere and um it's like the sound of the of the summer it's like when when I think of south of France I think of them and it's funny how like this tiny little animals can have such a big impact on like the overall region and be like really this symbol of uh, of summer of like the the sweetness of life in south of france and uh, it made me think about how like the voice of this little thing is like being like how they are making their voice heard and also how they amplify it by the like singing all together and so it made me think about us you know especially as a um yoga teacher or like uh health coaches like monica is a health coach or even just as a woman you know like how we we sometimes have difficulties to find how a voice express it and then share it to the share it with the word and um so i thought it would be like a, an opportunity to get inspired by this little uh, seagull and uh, think about how you know like what is our voice what do we want to express how we can do it how can we share our voice to the world and also how we can amplify it how we can use our network our connections our you know like this ripple effect to spread the voice and be be heard and share and share the message Actually, I found this really like a. Uh, I love I love oracle cards, and I have this love who you are deck, and on the back it's written: the moon doesn't only shine when it's whole; it can show up with a single sliver of itself, and still light an entire night sky. Show up, sing, shine. The world needs you as you are. So I thought it would be a good uh, a good one to reflect during our class. So, thank you. So having said that, let's start with uh, a little breathing exercise. If you can't hear me, let me know. I have to be a little further from my computer so you can see me. But uh, if you can't hear me, um, let me let me know. Here we go. So let's start. Uh, yeah, with a big breathing exercise where you can stand up or you can uh, sit down. Um, whatever you prefer and we're gonna take so the idea of this class also is about like go like uh, going inside and then expanding and really like finding your voice and then expanding and sharing it so we'll have a lot of like movements like uh, like that like in and out um so let's yeah sit down you can close your eyes if you want and Start breathing, like normal breathing, in and out. And now take a deep breath in through the nose and a silent exhale through the mouth. One more. And then on the next inhale, like still through the, through the nose. And then on the next exhale, like make some noise when going out. And take a few breaths like that. Now inhale through the nose and exhale with a small ah. ah. And I inhale through the nose and exhale with a big howl. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. 
think about an intention for the class. So what message would you want? What, what is your voice? And what is the message you would like to share to the world? And keep that message with you throughout the class. And you can join me in child's pose. And we're gonna start the flow. So start in two child pose and then like cartwheel your arms and just move your body. Like we're really warming up like nicely and in a like flowy. So going back to child pose every time, but like making some moves, some aids with your arms and going back into child pose. <laughs> and you can do that on your own rhythm. And next time you're going into child pose, on the way up, you're gonna make some circles, one direction with the arms and in the other direction, and back to child pose. Circle forward, backwards, and child pose. And you can expand the circle wider each time. Breathe in when you go in, up, breathe out when you're going down. In, out, in, expand, and out, going back into child pose. Next time we're going back into child pose, extend your right leg, extend your right arm and make some circles with your arm and leg in one direction, in the other direction, one direction, the other direction, and back into child pose and let's feel the other side. <laughs> Circles backwards, circles forward, and back into child pose. Other side, right side, circles in, back, forward, backwards, back into child pose, and left side. Back into child pose. Extend your left arm, extend your right leg, and draw a line. Like send your right arm above your head and really stretch. And now push your right leg. Four, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your foot down. Bring your left leg above your head and stretch your left side. Breathe. Back into child pose. Other side, extend your left leg, extend your left arm above your head, and push your left leg. And extend, like feel really like your leg and your and your hand going into opposite direction. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your leg down, your feet down, and stretch, extend your right arm above your head. Good. 
go back into child pose. Now we will circle again our arms. And now every time we're going up, we're going to bring our knee to chest. And then circle back the legs, the arms, and back into child pose. Side, bring your knee to chest and back to child pose. Breathe in, push on your right leg to lift your left knee to the chest, back down. And you can do a few rounds of that at your own river. Go back to child pose. Bring your hand in front of you into a tabletop position. And let's do a few cat cows. So push your buttocks up, your head up, and now break, push the floor away with your with your hands. Put bring your pelvis uh, towards you and push your shoulders going up when you have going down when you exhale. You can do some like disco cat cow by adding some movement in one direction and the other direction. You can play with your cat cow on your own ribbon. And when you're ready, sit on your heels, bring your hands up and flashlight your fingers to warm up these hands. Roll your wrist in one direction. And in the other direction. More. And go back into seven top. Send your legs back into plank pose. And we're gonna stay here doing some mountain climbers. One, two, so bring your knee to your arm. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go back to plank and roll into your back into reverse plank. And we're going to do reverse mountain climber. So ten, nine. So bring your knee to your chest. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go back to plank pose, so roll to your back to your plank pose. Ten more mountain climber like that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, three, two, one. Roll to your reverse plank, uh, reverse plank pose on the other side. Ten more like reverse mountain climber. Ten, nine. Three, two, one, and rolling back into your plank pose. Bring your knee down into your tabletop position. You can take a few more cat cow if you need to. And go back to plank pose and we're going to jump into sumo squat. Jump back into plank. Jump into sumo squat. Plank, sumo squat. Plank, sumo squat. And this time, 
take your right leg and spread it next to your left leg. Oops. And go back into sumo squat and do the same on the right side. Back into sumo squat, plank pose. Sumo squat, spread the right leg back, spread the left leg back, back. One last sumo squat, spread your leg back, spread your left leg back, and join me into Tadasana mountain pose. Everybody's feeling warm? I'm feeling warm. <laughs> Move a little bit your body. Take everything out. And we'll start with our first flow. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Tadam, 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 Mountain Pose. Bring your hands up and send your buttocks down into chair pose. Bring your right feet in courtesy length, so courtesy length, so circle it um, back to your left leg. And now, like, bring your right, bring your hand onto the floor and take your right leg and circle it back next to your left leg. Bring your hands up, go back down, like send your buttock down into chair pose. Bring your left leg in courtesy, like cross it behind your right leg. Bring your hands down and circle your left leg back next to your right leg. Half lift. Bring your hands down and go into your plank pose. Turn onto your right side. Bring your left leg onto the floor and extend your left arm and stretch. Lift your left leg and bring it in front of your right leg. And you can send your buttocks onto the floor. Your right leg is on the floor. Your left leg is, uh, is the left foot is on the floor too. And let's pulse our right leg. So 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rotate so your left knee is on the floor and your right leg is straight behind you. And pulse your right leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Bring it down, go back to plank pose and we've got to do the other side straight away. Bring your right leg behind your left leg and extend your right arm back. Lift your right leg and push your, uh, bring your right foot onto the floor. Bring your buttock into the floor. Lift your left leg and pulse for 10, eight, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, bring your right hand onto the floor and rotate so your right knee is on the floor. Your left leg is ready to pulse. So pulse for 10, nine, eight, And when you're doing the floor thing, like really like put your hands into the floor and push the floor away with your hands. Bring your foot down, go back into your plank pose, push your bottom away into downward facing dog. Take a few breaths in downward dog. Bring your body forward, bring your knees down, 
untuck your toes and bring your torso down to the mat. You can keep your hands where they are or you can bring them a little bit further apart. We're gonna do a few uh, push-ups. So you can keep your, to your toes on the mat, your legs on the mat. We're just gonna do a few push-ups for 10, 9, Five, four, three, two, one. Go down into the mat. Bring your arms close to your chest and push into your cobra pose and push further all the way up to your downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up. Bend your knee and do a few circles with your leg in one direction and on the other direction. And cross your, le your right leg in front of your left leg. Lift your left leg, bend your knee, do a few circles in one direction, in the other direction. Cross your left leg in front of your right leg. And Walk like crossing your legs until you reach the top of your mat. Half by lift. Hold like let your head hang heavy in between your hands. Bring your hands up, sit into your chair pose. Bring your palms together. Bring your palms to your heart and to your sides. So we've done the first round. Um, we're going to do another one round of this, this flow. And then we'll go into the, the second flow. Ready? You want to shake a little bit. Great. So let's go back. Hands up. Sit into your chair pose. Lift your right leg. Or cross it behind your left leg. Bring your hands into the floor, lift your right leg and circle it to join your left foot. Bring your palms up, sit into your chair pose, lift your left leg, bring it behind your right leg. Bring your hands down, lift your left leg and circle it next to your right leg. Half lift, bring your palm to the floor, Send your feet back into your plank pose. Rotate your body to the right and bring your left leg behind, um, next to your, behind your le right leg. Extend your left hand and like push your bottom up to really like stretch your body. Lift your leg, left leg and bring it into the floor in front of you. Bring your bottom down and pulse your right leg for 10, eight, four, three, two, one. Bring your right leg down, bring your left hand down and turn to have your left knee onto the floor. Pulse your right leg for 10, Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your right leg down. Join with your left leg into plank pose. Turn your body into your left side and bring your right leg all the way down. Bring your right leg up, your right arm up and push your bottom up to the side. Bring your right, your right leg in front of you to the floor. Bring your buttocks down and put your left leg for 10, nine, eight, four, three, two, one. Bring your left leg onto the floor. Bring your right hand onto the floor. Rotate you have your right leg onto the, the mat and pulse your left leg. 
but then nine, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your left leg down, join you with your right leg during plank pose. Push your butt into the sky to go to your downward facing dog. You can walk the dog, move a little bit your hip, stretch your leg. Send your body forward into plank pose. Bring your knees to the floor, untuck your toes. Bring your hips and your torso to the floor. Again, you can keep your hand where we are, put them a little further apart. And let's go for the push ups. 10, 9, 7, 4, 3, 2, one, bring your hands close to your chest if they were further apart. Push your pelvic into the floor. Squeeze your shoulders, lift your head and torso up. Push your hand into the floor. Tuck your toes and send your butt up into your downward facing dog. Bring your right leg up. Cross it in front of the le right, left leg, right leg up, cross it in front, and walk cross to the top of the mat. When you're at the top of the mat, half lift, you can hang a little bit here, let your head hang heavy, and bring your Arms up, sink into your chair pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring your hands up into pray. Bring your hands to your chest and to your side. Well done, we've completed one flow. <laughs> move a little bit. You can also like move your wrists. Flashlight your hand if you need. And we're ready to start the second flow. So bring your hands up into the sky. Sit into your chair pose. Again, bring your right knee up, forty it back. Bring your hands to the floor. And this time, like, try to play a little bit with putting a little bit of weight into your hands, like see like how it feels if you put the weight into your hands. Maybe you can play like trying to lift your left, your right leg, sorry, and see how it feels. Lift your left leg and circle it back next to your right leg. Hands up, sink into your chair, rotate your left leg. Bring your palms into the floor. And the same, like, be like, try to put some weight into your hands. Lift your left leg. You can even come to your, lift a little bit your right heel and see how it feels on your, on your back, on your hands. Lift your left leg, circle it back next to your right leg. Half lift, palms onto the floor, send your feet back into plank. Rotate your feet into side plank. So our body is aligned with the mat and extend your left hand. Lift your left, <laughs> lift your left leg. You can keep it floating into like a floating tree and bring it to the floor in front of you. Bring your left hand down and shred your right leg in front of your left leg. 
And we're going to do like a turn, like a full turn, like that. So bring your left leg in front of your right leg. So at the level of your height, you have both hands on the floor and you're bringing your right leg in front of your left leg. So your left leg is bent, your right leg is extended. And you will move your hands so you can make a full circle. And every time you're coming to like bring your left foot in front of your right leg, try to play again with like this idea of bringing a bit more weight into your hands. And once you're done with your full turn, join me onto the mat into a foot pose. Once you're in both boards, let's draw this boat. Four, ten, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring all your body down and tense everything like tense your feet, your face, your butt, your hands, everything. Tense, tense, tense. And release. Again, like tense everything, tense, tense, tense. tense. And release. Come into your elbow and into your hands. So you're like sitting down, you have your hands up on the floor. Bring your foot in your foot uh, into the floor and push your butt up in reverse tabletop. Take a few breaths here. Extend your legs into reverse plank. Roll into either side. We're into plank pose. Push your butt up into a downward facing dog. Bring your body forward. Bring and tuck your toes. Bring your knees down. Bring your whole body down. Bring your hands next to your chest. Squeeze your butt, push your pelvic into your, the mat. Squeeze your shoulders, lift into your cobra. Bring everything back down and push into your downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. And when you're ready, you can either walk or up to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, hold, bring your hands up, sink into your chair pose, bring your hands up into pray next to your chest. And your sides. So you can stay there or you can come back into the top of the mat up to you and we're gonna do it again. <laughs> so lift your hands up, take it to your chair pose. Lift your right leg. You can test a little bit your balance here. We can stay here a little bit longer. You can play also like with your leg, you can like do circles, you can like move. And when you're ready or like you're done playing, bring your circle your right leg behind your left leg to courtesy. Bring your palms down, push into the floor, and circle your right leg around next to your left leg. Up. Bring your hands up, sit into your chair pose. 
Same thing with your left leg. You can't play around with it. You can't do circles. You can dance a little. And when you're ready, bring your leg. Circulate in courtesy behind your right leg. Bring your palms down. Lift your leg, left leg and bring it back next to your right leg. Up lift. Bring your palms down and go into your plank pose. Rotate into your left side. Bring into your side plank. Bring your right arm up and extend. Like push your butt up. You can bring your right leg into a floating tree, like a side plank tree pose. And when you're ready, bring your right leg into the floor. Bring your right arm into the floor. And we're gonna do like the full circle. This time shredding the left leg uh, extended in front of the right leg, which is bent. And with this idea of pushing the floor away with our hands, let's shred the left leg, bring the right leg in front, move your hands. And we're doing a full circle. And when you're done with your circle, join me into. Boat pose, because I don't need you. When doing boat pose, we're rowing the boat. What hand? Nine, eight, four, three, two, one. Break everything down to the floor. Bring your Hands up and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze everything, squeeze and release. Breathe. Once more, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze everything. And release. Come into your elbows. Then push your back up. Your hands are on the floor. Bring your Push, push to your, push your butt up into reverse over top. Take a few breaths. Take a few breath here. Extend your legs. Rotate into your plank pose. Bring your knees down, bring your shoulders down, put your hands into the floor and push into your cobra. Now go bring everything back into the floor and push into a downward facing dive. Lift your right, right leg up and bring your right leg next to your right hand. Rotate your body and bring your butt into the floor. And we're going to play with our baby grasshopper pose. So we have our left leg extended on the floor. Our right leg is bent and our right foot is about like in, like it's in the middle of our tight. Bring your right hand next to your right foot and your left hand like about like a few like a few like like hand distance apart from it. And the idea is to like bring our torso forward and push your, our hands strong into the floor and lift our back leg. So that's the, the position we want to hand up with, our baby grasshopper position. And you will feel like a, you, you will feel it in your core, like it's engaging your core, engaging your back, 
engaging your arms and also engaging your both legs because your right leg needs to push and your left leg needs to lift. So it's basically working everything. <laughs> so you can play around with it. You don't have to. So your your left thigh is is um, glued to your right your right ankle, and and yeah, you're pushing strongly with your hands, and you go can go down and play a little bit more. And when you're done playing with it, come into your um, the sitting pose. Then reach into your leg and stretch a little. Go into your reverse pivot top. Push your butt up. Reverse plank pose, rotate and push your butt to your downward facing dog. We'll do the other side. Bring your left leg up and your left foot step next to your left hand. Rotate your right leg and bring your right leg into the floor. Bring your left leg close to your left thigh. Your, sorry, the left leg close to your left foot close to your right thigh. Bring your left hand um, not far from your left foot. Your right hand uh, on the same line as your left hand. And bring your torso forward. Push the floor away, like really like anchor your fingers, your hands into the floor. Push the floor away, lift your left leg off the floor. Push the floor with your left leg. And you can go down. You can do it again. Engage your core. Really press your left thigh with your, with your left ankle. One more. And when you're ready, go into a sitting position, roll your wrist. And roll your wrist together. Flashlight your hands. Bring your hands down, bring your, like bend your knees, bring your foot down. Push your, push your tummy up into the sky, into your tabletop. Extend your leg, bring reverse, uh, reverse plank. Roll into your plank pose. Push your butt away into downward dog. Take the opportunity to stretch your, your back, press your, your finger into the floor, reach the floor with your heels, let your head hang heavy between your arms. Come into plank, bring your knees to the floor, untuck your toes, bring all your body to the floor. And lock, bring your, your arms behind your back and lock your fingers. Push your pelvic into the floor. Squeeze your shoulders and lift your chest up. You can move side to side, which feels good. Release onto the mat. Bring your hands close to your chest. Push into your downward facing dog. And you can choose how you want to join me to the top of the mat. You can jump, you can walk, you can dance, whatever, whatever feels good to you. 
aqua lift, cold, and release your fingers behind your knees. Bring your, uh, your hands up, think into your chair pose. Circle your back, bring your hands together. In prayer position next to your chest and your hands near by your side in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Thank you, we've made it through our, our clothes. <laughs> uh, let's do some cool down now and then you will have uh, like a well-deserved savasana. So for cool down, uh, let's let's lay down. Um, yeah, let's lay down. Bring your knee, like bend your knees, and bring them as close as you want to your butt. Bring your palms down, squeeze your butt and push your butt, push your tummy up to the sky. Just like that. And come down. Bring your right foot onto your right thigh. Grab your right, uh, onto your right, left thigh, sorry. Grab your left thigh with your hands and squeeze it close to your chest. And bring. Bring everything down, let's do the other side. Bring your left foot onto your right knee. Grab your right thigh with your hands and bring your right thigh close to your chest and breathe. Everything back into the floor. Cross your right leg up to your left thigh. Again, keep your hands like close to your body. You can extend them into a cross and bring your knees to the left side. Breathe. Bring your knees back up and cross your right leg. Cross your left leg above your right thigh and send your knees to your right side. Bring your foot back up and cross your foot and lay down. Close your eyes into your savasana.
And with your eyes closed, think again about what we were talking about at the beginning of class, about this idea of finding your voice, of expressing your voice, of sharing it. What's the message that you want to share? Who do you want to share it with? How do you want to share it? Who can help you share your message? Think about this little uh, cigar from South of France, how tiny they are and how their rhythm, their, their songs that they are singing all together in harmony are bringing the rhythm of the summer, our symbol of sweetness of living and are bringing like a peaceful and light and joyful, harmonious mindset to a whole region. I'm gonna read you again these things I read to you like when we started. The moon doesn't only shine when it's whole. It can show up with a single sliver of itself and still light an entire night sky. Show up, sing, shine. The world needs you as you are. Let this sink with you. And when you're ready on your own time, you can join me into sitting position. There's no, no rush. You can go into one, like start slowly moving your body, opening your eyes slowly. Turning into one side. Welcome back.